depression, I have PTSD, I have generalised anxiety disorder and I also have neurofibromatosis type 1. Now I've been looking at some of the um, community tabs that I put on um, and I said would you want to hear some of the story I'm trying to write now be nice um, I have uh, learning difficulties like dyslexia and all that kind of shit um, so I'm going to read you a couple of uh, paragraphs and let me know what you think um, maybe you could give me some guidance on how to better word things that would be great because I've always wanted to write a book so I thought I'd start so excuse me while I look um, Judy stood on <coughs> let's start again uh, Judy stood on the path looking up at the moonless sky wondering how the stars could twinkle so beautifully she was cold so cold she could no longer feel her fingers or her toes she was dressed in a tank top and miniskirt and wearing her favourite stiletto heels the red ones with the green heel every time she wore those she was going to have a good night she needed to earn well tonight she wanted to buy her daughter Ellie a doll that she'd been asking for for Christmas. It was only November, so she had plenty of time before the big day. Maybe she could afford a dress to go with it. She hated being on the game, but it's the only thing that she knew. Fucking. And she started at a young age, when her uncle John had been having sex with her since she was eight. The same age as her daughter Ellie is now. The thought of her beautiful innocent daughter becoming... Uh, the same age as her daughter now, Ellie. The thought of her beautiful innocent daughter going through something like that made her physically sick. Ellie was one of... <coughs> Ellie was the only one... Was one uh, Ellie was the one and only thing that gave her... Ellie was the only one good thing that came out of the years of, of abuse that was positive. She was the reason why she went on in her life. Every time she saw her little, little girl's little chubby round face and those adorable fire emerald eyes and her jet black hair, Judy's heart would fill with so much love and protection that she thought her heart would burst. As the cold November night went on, Judy was getting hungry. But she couldn't stop to eat. She needed the money. She needed to make as much money as possible. Even if that meant tossing some man off with a dirty dick. All she worried now is to get the money for that doll. She didn't want Ellie to be broken hearted on Christmas Day. And Judy couldn't have that. She never wanted to have her baby go through something like that. Anything that made her cry. She wanted to protect her from all the shit the world can give. At least she can shield her from that. She took her out in her handbag, looking for her hand mirror to make sure her lippy was still on. Not a wrinkle on her face, she thought. Then again, she was only 16. Her pale skin shimmered in the dark, in the dark alley, known as John's Row, because of all the prosy that could be picked up by any dirty dick. She always had beautiful skin, her lips were a natural pout, and her box blind hair always plaited. That's what I am. I have written it wrong. It's there. So I'll, I'm not very good at reading, so I'll try and do it again later. Um, so, what I've read you now, what do you think? I've probably read you one paragraph of it. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. I've probably on. I've done two pages. I've done a hundred. I've done eight hundred and thirty-one words, and that's two pages. So yeah, let me know what you think. Um, I'll tell you what else I'd like you to do for me if you're watching. Give me a word, and I'm going to try and make a silly poem or a silly poem really about anything yeah just so it's a kettle or a wall or um, grass or something like that put it in 
my comments below and I'll see whether I can make up a poem about it. Just a bit of silly fun, why not? Okay, so sorry about that really bad reading. I'm really bad at um, reading. I have dyslexia. Shit happens. So yeah, let me know and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.